Hello everybody, this is a new project. It's the rotor like the Kanzen did it. The only thing is I have the timing discs on the outside so they are smaller than they are because they are outside of the magnets. Uh, that's for the timing disc. There is another timing disc on this side with four magnets. You know what that's for. But this is just the first run, the first test, so everything's not together. This is a circuit. It's the same circuit Doug is using. Uh, the only difference is I separated. I'm working with two batteries, one for the power to move. It's 8 volt 64. And the other one just for the hall sensor and the driver. And yeah, that's that one here. And that's the driver and the hall sensor right beside it going off. And so I'll try and switch it on holding the camera, which doesn't work too well. Okay, let's try it again. There. Oops. We got it here. So now we have to move the sensor at the right position. And I'll give it a little manual start. There we are. And it's up and running. But of course, this all has to be tuned. I am used the, f the first coil I found. I didn't even wind one specially for it. Uh, it's... Yeah, I've, it really has to be tuned. But it's running, so that's the first thing I'm happy about. And... Yeah, now it has... Now the sensor position has to be tuned. Yeah, it's not very... That's not very precise to position the sensor. It's yeah. I added a neon between uh, the um, uh, drain and the source just to see the back EMF to visualize the back EMF. Okay, we're running with hundred milliamps now at eight volts twenty-five, and it's going down a little bit. The more it's speeding up, the more it's going down. So yeah, we have to wait for a f thing. I thought I think I saw. Yeah, you see, uh, it's going, it's going down a little bit. But the more interesting is here. I've got the third winding for the back EMF to get the back EMF out. Now I'll try and switch it on. Sorry, I can't do all at the same time. Yeah, I got it. But look how the caps are filling. Now, this is really fast, and it's going up really high. It's incredible. It's, yeah, it's these two caps here. It's a, a 450 microfarad and 450 volts. So we've, and it's hooked up as a voltage doubler. So it's two times 450. So here you see it's speeding up still. It went down a little bit with the consumption. And it's still, it's incredible. We're nearly 198, 200 volts. Okay, we can switch up to 250. And it's still going up. It's still going up. Well, we got to see what we can do with that. And that's 900 microfarad, 2 times 450. Uh, and as a, as I said, as a voltage doubler, I got that circuit from Duck also. And uh, yeah, well, that's it for the first run. I think for me it's interesting enough. I'm just checking the speed. Yeah, it's about 300, 300, yeah, 301, 299, 300. It's around there. Yeah, it's my thing is not working very well. So, yeah, 300 is... Uh, well, anyway, thanks for watching.